Welcome to Disturbing Creation. And we're here today to teach you about a new skill. I'm gonna be doing basic mechanic skills, intermediate mechanic skills, and even expert mechanic skills. Depending on your level, I've got a playlist for each. Hey guys, we're back. So in this episode of Disturbing Creations, I'm gonna teach you how to change your transmission fluid and your filter. I would recommend that if you do this kind of job, you do it a, well, however much the interviewer will, will say and you continuously do it. Um, some of these transmissions have life, life uh, long fluid like this Mercedes does, but um, I mean, I have 230,000 miles on this transmission, so what's the life you know what I mean so let's get right into it so first of all I took a t30 which is a Torx head and um, I cracked all the bolts off of here which are these so you put the t30 in here and you take it off just like a nut and there's six of them three on each side I set the transmission up on its side because I don't have the proper um, machinery yet to drain this properly, but you cannot just drain this on the ground, it's hazmat, so we put a pan down to catch it. Once you get this down, I wouldn't recommend um, opening this up. Anyway, your transmission will be straight up, I'm only doing this sideways for your benefit so I can show you the diagram and you can see exactly what's going on. So once you do these, I would um, kind of tilt it a little bit and let the fluid come out. Uh, it, there's a lot of fluid in here. This transmission is a Mercedes. It holds um, about nine quarts. It's supposed to hold uh, four quarts in the torque converter, so everything else is going to flush out. Once you get this all off, we're, we're going to take this bottom piece, which is called the transmission pan, kind of like the oil pan for your engine, but this one's on the transmission. You're going to take this off and slide it. You're going to be real careful with this because this transmission stuff is very delicate so inside the transmission pan here I already cleaned this a little bit you're gonna find your drain plug and you're gonna sometimes find a magnet what this will do is this magnet will pick up any metal pieces that have come off your bands or through your transmission throughout wear and that's normal don't worry about it mine was really fuzzy I had to take it out and and wipe it out really well and you want to make sure you put your magnet back um, I'm actually doing this on the, um, the Mercedes next to me. This is the old transmission. Uh, it has a new transmission in it, but I'm going to take this magnet and put it on the other side. So there's two magnets in that transmission. You don't have to do that, but I like a little extra precaution. So once you clean the magnet, you clean the inside of the pan, you're going to take this, which is called the gasket. This is the gasket off and right here I'm gonna show you I already threw it out but right here is the, the filter this is actually the new filter it's very different than um, any other filters that I've seen it's um, it's flat so a lot of the canister filler filters for like your um, your oil catch um, or your inline filters for your fuel a lot of those are round uh, the inside filters are usually round, they're, they're um, just a, a paper filter, inline filter, but a lot of these are flat as you can see. Most of them will have this hole with an o-ring in it, and where this filter will be located is right here. So there's a small placement slice right here, you probably can't see it, but it's this. So you just push this in, line it up, pop it in, and that's it, it's ready to go. I already took the old one out, like I said, so you would just wiggle this a little bit and pop it out and discard this as well. Then you're going to put the new one in, give it a little tap. You're going to throw the old gasket in the garbage. Even though it looks great, you're going to throw it in the garbage. And you're always going to put a new gasket on every time. Because what happens if you take this off and you didn't see there's a small tear in it, you put it all back together and two months later, 
your transmission slipping because you're leaking and you didn't know. This is very inexpensive. I think this kit was around $30. Um, I have to recheck. It depends on brand name and uh, who you go to. But um, I would definitely always put the, the gasket on as well. So after you put the new gasket on and the filter in, you're gonna put the pan. So the filter would be in. Let's just say for all, all purposes, I just put the new gasket on. You don't have to put any sealant on this. It's a rubber gasket and it'll, it'll crush to its um, uh, specifications. Then we're gonna take the pan. We're gonna put that back on. And then you're gonna put all your screws in. All right. Once you put all your screws in, um, you're going to go to your manual or you can look it up online and see how many quarts you're supposed to put back in. I always like to look and see how many quarts are supposed to be back in before I do the job because I don't want to just put it in and take a chance with the dipstick. I don't know how um, warm the transmission is. I think this one's supposed to be at a minimum of uh, 80 degrees. Um, uh, it might be Celsius. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Uh, because this is a German car. I don't know what that transfers over to Fahrenheit, but again, check your ma manual and always do your own due diligence. Now you have to get this up to heated te temperature. Uh, so I would put like, if you're just gonna wing it, I would put like three in and then run it for a little bit, uh, five or 10 minutes at idle, and then check with the dipstick because this transmission has to be on, the car has to be moving, fluctuating, it has to be pumping through the system, through the torque converter so you can get an accurate reading. Not like your oil. The car has to be off and sit for at least two minutes to get an accurate reading on your oil because when the car is moving, it's pushing pressure up in the tube. You might get a, a bad reading on your, your engine oil. But this system is hydraulic fluid that goes through the transmission and has to be pumping so that you can get an accurate reading. So once you get everything together, put your fluid in, do a test, everything seems to be good. You're in that middle range that says minimum and maximum on your dipstick. You should be great. This car, unfortunately, does not have a dipstick. So you have to know how much you're putting in and then the car will tell you, usually, with these new computers, you're a quart low, you're a quart high, and then you can add some or drain some. Uh, this car's in the middle. So this is a 2003 compressor Mercedes, and it doesn't have a dipstick, and I haven't got the computer to tell me yet. It does tell me on the oil side, but it does not tell me on the transmission side. So I always just look in the manual and see, okay, so this says uh, about nine quarts and about 4.5 stay in the, um, converter so I would think I would I would put four and a half back in what I would do is put three and a half in and then do the little test again and see how it's running take it for a test drive or see what's going on I have an aftermarket dipstick I bought for this so I'm gonna test it and then add as I need to go if you have any questions or you want to know something about your transmission because it might look a little different than mine, please comment down below and I'll get back to you directly. We also have an Instagram under the same name of Disturbing Creations. Link is also in the description. If you want to DM me directly, we can help you out as well. So can I get a thumbs up, a like, subscribe? We're always coming out with something different. We're working on so many different cars. If you'd like to see me work on your car, or pass some information on to you, leave a comment down below and tell me, and I will try to get right back to you. Thank you for your time. God bless, and let's make some disturbing creations.